Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada this week. It's Friday, June 24, 2016. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Alberta is reviewing its response to the Fort McMurray wildfire. Editor Laura King reports from the Ontario Association of Fire Chiefs Home Fire Sprinkler Summit. And Chief Gord Schreiner explains how his department's Seconds Count training program increases firefighters' speed and safety at emergency scenes. Alberta Agriculture and Forestry is reviewing its response to the wildfire that forced almost 90,000 people to evacuate Fort McMurray in early May. A final report will be delivered by the end of the year and will examine the Ministry's wildfire preparation and readiness, steps taken to respond to the fire, and how firefighters and equipment were deployed. The Canadian Press reports the province's Municipal Affairs Department is considering launching its own review of the citywide evacuation. The wildfire was the most devastating in the province's history, destroying 2,400 buildings and prompting shutdowns at two key oil sands facilities. Editor Laura King spent Thursday at the Home Fire Sprinkler Summit in Toronto, where fire chiefs educated decision makers in the home building industry about the benefits of residential sprinklers. The NFPA has done sprinkler summits in the States, but this was the first in Canada put on by the Ontario Association of Fire Chiefs. President Steve Hernan said the objective was to inform builders that there are benefits to them too. Installing sprinklers allows developers to build higher density housing, for example. The purpose today is to bring together the building industry and the planning industry, if you will, to talk about home fire sprinklers and residential buildings and the benefits of it, which goes beyond the, the simple life safety factors. The NFPA's Matt Klaus debunked sprinkler myths and Don Jolly, the chief in Pitt Meadows, B.C., said sprinklers should be part of the municipality's fire protection plan. A 2005 bylaw in Pitt Meadows requires sprinklers in most new construction. Summit Chair Cynthia Ross Tustin, the chief in rural Essa Township, said the event started a conversation with builders that she hopes will encourage them to embrace sprinklers. Thanks, Laura. In the June issue, Firefighting in Canada, Chief Gord Schreiner explains how Comox Fire Rescue Seconds Count Training Program teaches firefighters to work quickly while maintaining high safety standards. Our fire department is fairly well trained, but we noticed over the last few years that the urgency had gone out of some of our training. So that's the purpose of the second uh, count program, is that we start every practice now with two or three drills out of the second count um, portfolio of drills just to try to add a little bit more speed and urgency into the, uh, the training while keeping the safety as high as we can. I don't want to overstress the urgency side of it. We are in an urgent business, but we are also in a business that needs to be very, very safe with everything we do. Thanks, Chief. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.